So what are you going to do about the ending of special category status which the government has just announced? Uh, when the prisoners take whatever stand they take, whatever the provisional Republican prisoners stand, we will stand firmly behind them and whatever they expect us to do, we will do it wholeheartedly because it was the provisionals who got political status for everybody and they are the people who will hold on to it. The late Jimmy Steele went on strip strikes, wore no clothes rather than wear prison garb. Billy McKee went to the point of death and would have went on to death in 1972. There were other fellows with him on hunger strike and we had girls in Armagh prison at the same time, all for to get political status. They are political prisoners and how can the Conservative government in 1972 say they're political? In 1976 the Labour government says, oh, will we take it off them? And if this is a conflict between the Labour and Conservative government, they should keep that in Westminster amongst themselves and leave our prisoners to us. You say that you're going to take whatever steps they ask you to take. Are you foreshadowing violence, Mordor? Uh, I wouldn't foreshadow anything and I don't prophesy. All I will say is that if Merlin Reese or anyone belonging to him comes into open conflict with the prisoners, then he will have the people outside to reckon with. And the prisoners are quite capable of taking a very strong attitude. He should remember the burning of Long Cash. It was the provisional Republicans who burned Long Cash. So you're saying we're going to have chaos in the prisons then? Uh, I don't know. I am only reminding him that the girls in Armagh jail were able to take a governor hostage and they're only girls and hold hostages and wreck that jail, that the boys in Long Cash burned that prison to the ground. And uh, if this is something that another red herring that he's going to drag for to take him away from the other chaos that he's in, he's only making more trouble for himself.